Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing your autumn love reading. So this is going to be from the 22nd of September to the 21st of December. That's going to be the time frame for this love reading. So I already put the crystals on because they look so pretty <laughs> and these cards are quite plain so I think it would be easier for you guys to see these cards. So we have group number one with the Mangano Calcite, we have group number two with the Aura Quartz, group three with the Opalite and group number four with the Apophyllite and I'm also, I sell these ones on my shop and I'm also thinking of selling some Apophyllite and the Aura Quartz as well on my shop so if you'd like to have a look at that or get in touch with me if you want to purchase any of these crystals please feel free to message me okay so let's get started with your reading we're going to start off with number one with the mangano calcite hello group number one thank you so much for being here let's get started with your september love reading so for you guys you got mangano calcite and i friggin love this crystal as soon as i got them from my shop i was like I want 50 of them. <laughs> so if any of you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I highly recommend, they are absolutely beautiful. They're so good for love. They're so good for helping you feel calm. They're really good at abundance. They're really good at making you feel less anxious. They are really good at just kind of clearing a space. They're very good for just space clearing and new opportunities in space clearing. So say if you're gonna move house, this is a really good new addition, especially also Moonstone I have on my shop as well. Moonstone Spheres, they're really good for new beginnings as well. So those two I highly, highly recommend. So let's see if we can plot this little guy here. Let's see what's happening for you guys between the 22nd of September and the 21st of December. Okay, so let's get started. So first cut out we have. Oh, I love this little froggy guy. He's so cute. I love him. Okay, so we're going to do Oracle cards first and then we're going to do the tarot so i love this little froggy guy he is so cute so this is all about kind of things being very very emotional this is you feeling i feel this is very very emotional and happy it feels very abundant it kind of reminds me of the song rain on me which i'm not a fan of that song really but the song is like obviously about raining and obviously other things as well but this is kind of just like you're getting your abundance so i feel like you're going to feel very very abundant in the month of uh, between September and December, it's going to feel really, really abundant for you in love. I feel like it's going to, you're going to feel much more comfortable with who you are and you're going to feel like you can really be in your own energy, okay? Alrighty. So let's see who you're attracting in love then in terms of your animal car. Let's get you another one. Let's see who you are attracting in. Okay, we have the elephant reverse. They're saying it's in the reverse. So this is somebody who is very driven, but they are kind of going through quite, an intense cycle right now so I do feel like it's going to be somebody really really fun and amazing and yes we have this abundant energy of somebody who's really really up for your up for a long-term relationship and this is somebody who will mirror you and will be bit like swans mate for life so this is somebody who's going to be a long-term partner okay those of you already in relationships this could be somebody you're already with as well and the elephant is also showing me that, that this person is clearing your path. So they're actually helping you on a 5D to help you clear your pathway. All right. So more about you. We have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? All righty. So let's get out some more cards. Let's start off with the, where should we do? We'll do the crystals next. Okay. So we have Moldavite. We have Laramar. Okay. So let's do these cards first. Alrighty, so the fact that we have boundaries coming out is a really, really strong energy. This is all about a massive, massive, huge, gigantic shift that you are having in your love life. Okay, so Moldavite will create change. Moldavite will create a massive energy of shifting and resolving. And Moldavite will create abundance and just new experiences. If you have Moldavite, it will literally change your life. If you're ready to have it, it will appear in your life. And for you guys, you'll really learn to have better boundaries and not feel like submerged in the emotions that people are possibly putting on you and feel like you can't have boundaries and say no to them. So for you guys, it's really establishing those strong boundaries. That's what this energy is bringing in. And um, it's also speaking your truth around love and speaking up for what you believe in. So let's have a look and see what Moldavite says. You guys might be getting a message coming through as well. I love the green that we have here, very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so it says, who needs it? Spiritual seekers, extraterrestrials trapped in human bodies. I don't know how to pronounce this word. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up to the screen if you guys want some extra information, but this is for, it says Aquarian, so you could be an Aquarius. So it says, where to put it? In the middle of your forehead during meditation, altars, alien landing sites. 
when to use it when you feel too grounded or disconnected from spirit Moldavite is all about operating at a higher frequency when you are looking for more wow and woe in your life on the meditation cushion and beyond explode your perceptions with Moldavite Moldavite not Moldavite transform your life on earth boom that is so beautiful so you guys are having a massive transformation you're learning that what you currently are in right now whatever pattern that is you're learning to really un think about is this the right thing for me and should I really shift it and not listen to anybody else's views because I feel like this is somebody who's kind of overwhelming and it's kind of like she's like nope don't want to have you I'm going to push you all away because I need my space and really learn to have space and if people are like oh do you want to hang out do you want to do something and if you genuinely don't want to do it you don't have to do it okay so in your love life this is all about friendships as well this is about all your relationships this isn't just about romantic I feel and I feel like being around the water and the oceans can be very 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 fulfilling for you I feel like there's so many messages for these I love this and it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? So it could mean um, a, a way of life that you are kind of asserting yourself in. It could be uh, in work. It could be you need to kind of set boundaries with work. It could be setting boundaries with just in general, just really being very thoughtful about where you're putting your energy. And I think if you need to sage yourself or feel you need to kind of like cleanse your aura after you've been around somebody, that's a sign that it's not somebody who's going to serve you well. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Right, we're going to pull these away and we're going to bring out some more oracle cards and let's see what we have here. Next one's out. Monkey, inner child, don't take life too seriously. Lots of green. I'm really getting attracted to the green in these readings today. We have the crane of surrender. I love that. What a beautiful card. Yep, lots of green. <laughs> Setting up parameters. Ooh, queen, I love that. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries, oh my God, um, requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. Boom, someone who's watching this is like, hmm, is this me? <laughs> okay, we have the third house and we have Terra. So Terra is all about Earth. She is also just um, somebody who in the deck they put kind of just to... Uh, resonate as you resonate with yourself so I'm going to say this, this is about abundance this is about acknowledging yourself and what you need on this planet earth what makes you feel nourished you have been entertaining a possibly um, toxic relationship a toxic connection that's really been not very good for your energy and has been quite uncomfortable for you surrendering to the moment and it says let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is and this is all about your inner child and how you're really creating a safe space for your inner child. And if you guys are entertaining somebody who's not on your wavelength, this is this is a call to say that you guys need to set up some boundaries or set up some parameters. You don't actually have to let them go. It just might mean you need to set some boundaries and be like, no, I can't work on, I can't hang out with you on this day. I need to work. And at the end of the day, this is all about you and your communication style. So as long as you're asserting yourself in a way where you feel like you're getting your needs met and your words across, then that is the best way. But if you feel like you're being ignored, excuse me, I burped, clarification. Um, if you feel like you're being ignored, if you feel like your needs aren't being met, if you feel like you're not being listened to, maybe it is possibly a narcissistic situation, then maybe just think about, is this something that I want to entertain? Because this is your life, guys. We've only got a certain amount on this planet and we want to kind of make it so we, we are really living in our truth. And sometimes it just takes a while to let them go if you need to, but that's okay, you know? You guys, your soul is really yearning to have some fun. Okay, so I feel like in the next few months, you're going to feel like you really coming into what it is your needs are and just really, yeah, just being very intellectual about um, your energy and what it is that you need out of life. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have in the tarot. This little guy's popping out. We want her. Oh, yeah. So it could be a thing about relationships with your work. Because we all have a relationship with something or somebody at some point. You know, it doesn't actually have to be an actual person. Okay, Four of Swords. Beautiful. Five, of, oh sorry, Nine of Swords. Feeling like you can't get out of a situation. Okay, so I feel like for this group, this is very internal and very self-love kind of based. I don't feel like it's too much to do with any new people coming in. So for you guys, this is more about people who've already have a relationship or somebody and they're in kind of entertaining. It doesn't have to be because for some of you, it could mean that you've let somebody go and you're still um, releasing the old energy of kind of needing to please people or needing to 
um, worry about what other people are doing and not honoring yourself. This could be in family as well. You could be entertaining your family too much. And by the way, guys, if you're in a relationship where you feel like you need to entertain somebody, it's not the right connection. And is this in the reverse? Yes, and that makes so much sense, this being underneath, because it's basically your inner stability is being rocked, okay? The things that you really you really need, you're not giving to yourself because you're giving it away to somebody else. And if somebody isn't really appreciating it, where is it going? It's not even going to that person. It's just going nowhere, <laughs> okay? And obviously, I'm very honest to my readers. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I want you to have the best life possible. I want you to feel like you can really live in your truth because I've been there you know I've personally been there so what's really important especially when you are empathic all you want to do is help people and it, and for us guys who are empathic we can attract narcissists because we want to we want to help and narcissists love being helped they love all their attention being on them so for you guys this is all about learning to focus on your work focus on yourself and if you feel anxious it's okay you are moving forward and you may feel like no I'm stuck if I leave this person or if I leave this situation or I leave this belief system that I have what am I going to have and actually it just takes you pushing over that threshold to get where you need to go so you can feel comfortable okay so let's see what's coming after this little chariot guy Okay, there we go. The four of wands popped out again. So we're going to put her there. So it's stability. Can you see how that's up right now? It's like you're getting your stability back. Yes, queen. So you are reluctant to transform, guys. Some of you guys are reluctant to transform. And that's okay. Change can be really scary sometimes. But change is beautiful as well. Change is so beautiful. But if this is the world. Oh, no, it's not the world. Okay, ten of pentacles. Perfect. So can you see how a lot of this energy is around um, the home life? It's to do with career because we have lots of pentacles here. We've got the ten of pentacles. We've got the eight of pentacles. And we've got the ten of pentacles. Sorry. the Okay. No. We have the ten of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. So it's kind of like wherever you're putting your energy, as long as it's in yourself, you're going to succeed. Okay. Oh my God, I love this group. You guys are so cute. I really am attracted to your energy, guys. I feel like a lot of your water signs and air signs is what I'm picking up on. So we also have this guy here, which is the seven of cups in the reverse. No longer feeling, feeling the need to feel like a choice or no longer needing to choose between two things. If you somebody isn't honoring you in your space, in your life, in your work, then why would you want this person around you? And why would you want this energy around you at the end of the day? And obviously, guys, I know how hard it is. I've been there personally. I can totally relate to this group. But this death process is so beautiful because you are recognizing what it is that you need. So I feel like this group is more about transformation and soul evolution than rather than what's new coming in. But what is so much better is instead of it being a person, it's about your own stability. Because if you can have a foundation for yourself, you can attract ultimate abundance, you know? And I really feel that for you guys. Um, okay, so I want to pull some dice for you. So let me just grab my dice here. Okay, let's get some dice for you guys. Let's see what's coming. Yep, stability. We've got the Taurus. We've got the 11th house. And we also have the North Node. So your North Node is to become stable. You are going towards stability. And I love how I place it on the death card. That's beautiful. So all of this is going to come when you end this old cycle. And I feel like it's not going to be like an immediate boom. It's going to be like a general processing energy. But the 11th house is all about your communities. It's about who you surround yourself with. It's about your, um, yeah, your communities and just people who in groups and communities where you can kind of come together. You will manifest stable relationships. And that is what I feel like you are doing now. And if you feel lost, just know that this is a sign that you are manifesting people who are really on your wavelength. Okay. So expect some new groups to come in, expect some new friendships. And you, I think as well for you guys, there's a really big message coming in that I feel like uh, relate, relates to me a lot as well it's kind of like when when we're in a connection and it isn't authentic to us we can think that that is what we that is what we think is a relationship is when it's not authentic when we need to force and push and pull and um, kind of create this kind of control around a relationship and need to kind of step on eggshells or do things that they want to do because we know that's going to keep them but actually when we meet somebody sometimes it takes meeting somebody or sometimes it takes some sort of um jolting of energies like a death process or something for you to realize that wasn't actually a proper relationship a proper relationship is when both of you are equal partners and you both want to have the same goal and you both acknowledge each other's journeys okay and you both want to have the best for each other and it's not 
I'm going to give more to you and I'm going to have receive less because that's what's comfortable for me. Actually, it takes coming over the threshold to realize I was giving more than what I was receiving. Okay. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Get prepared for this massive transformation. It's going to be absolutely beautiful for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the first crystal out we have is what you chose is the Angel Aura Quartz. So this is a beautiful crystal. It is normally uh, Aura Quartz and then it's kind of coated in this kind of color. Obviously they're all made differently, so it just depends. But this is all about that higher power, the heart chakra energy, this higher kind of 5D energy. It's a lot to do this. So you're most likely manifesting a lot in the 5D before it comes in the 3D. And you guys are really learning to acknowledge your spirituality in your journey around your spirituality, okay? So let's see the first card out we have is the Cosmic Egg, beautiful. So you guys are in a really nice little incubation period and this is literally to do with what I just said about your spiritual journey and who you are as a person and what you want to attract. So the Cosmic Egg here is showing me that you guys are really learning to nurture your inner child and nurture your spirituality. And this is leading to your love life because you're learning to just acknowledge who you are, okay? And that is really, really stunning. I love that. So let's move these over here for a second. And I'm just gonna look into the book and see more about what the cosmic egg is about. I'm gonna see what this guy represents. I feel like he's kind of to do with the um, phoenix as well. And kind of that transmuting of going from the earth to the air energy, which I really feel is very strong. So the cosmic egg is all about the seventh chakra. It's the crown chakra, which is really beautiful. This is all about your meditation practice and how much of an important role that is in your life. So it says a sense of contentment. It says completion. Oh, completion. I like that. Harmony, the infinite within the finite. Okay. A sense of contentment, self-realization and oneness Spontan spontaneously oh my god I can't I can't read today spontaneously I can't say it spontaneously sure arises within us and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are, list are lifted when the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone disconnected from others even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a momentary glimmer or flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is a rem remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card that we are reminded that the cosmic contract written at the beginning we hold onto life and life holds onto us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. Beautiful. Okay, so that is you. I feel like as you kind of resonate with this energy, feel free to change up the roles. I'm going to see who is coming in for you guys. So, or what energy is kind of coming in. This could be a person, it could be an energy. Okay, let's see. Ooh, hi. Ooh, someone's coming really earthy. So you're working on your higher energy, they're working on their lower. I'm actually seeing this as more of an earth energy, like a Taurus or a Leo. Someone who's gonna give you a really strong, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, loads of snake energy. So this is literally like the cosmic egg and the, and the lion together. Look, it's that earth energy. Oh, I love that, that's so beautiful. So this person's gonna ground your spirituality. This person's gonna be like, okay, you've worked on the, like the 5D version of this person. It's like, you've worked on your spirituality. Let's get this relationship going. So for you guys, it could be you're already in a relationship and this is kind of you coming into a more, like I'm hearing contracted energy and I'm seeing literally two pigeons like, on a roof and they're like kissing each other. That is so cute. <laughs> Who did you see it right now? Two little lovebirds. So that's you, that's you and this person or you and this energy kind of coming together where you may not be looking at each other right now, but basically you are helping each other in the 5D, which is so, 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 so cute. All right, next card out we have is copper. Okay, when it's time to pack up an old, old idea of who you are and ship it out for good, move on, renewed with copper anyone who needs it anyone who needs the prover proverbial div oh my god i'm sorry guys i can't speak today maybe it's your kind of mercury that's being affected um anyone <clears throat> yep anyone who needs the proverbial defibrillator paddles so basically for you guys if you don't know what the defibrillator paddles is i think it's those things that go like that you rub them together and you go clear and it's like shh, on the heart that is what's happening you guys are getting an awakening with your love life you you are literally 
being aware that things, things are going to start manifesting for you. That's what I'm picking up on. It's like things are starting to manifest and I freaking love it. Yes, queen. Okay. Next card out we have. Let's get another crystal card. Yes. Wow. You guys have got a lot of spirituality going on. You guys got a lot of like higher energy. Apophyllite is really, really beautiful. Obviously, this was for group number four. This is what Apophyllite looks like. It's so, so, so pretty. It's one of my fave crystals. It's kind of got, a, it's got a higher, stronger energy than a clear quartz. It's kind of like clear quartz with the defibrillator pa paddles. It's like it's gotten like an extra boost. So you guys are really learning to be in your power, be in your spirituality and not let anyone's opinion of you sway who you are, which is absolutely gorgeous. That's what we want. That is exactly what we want. And you're kind of in the middle. I don't know if this, there isn't really a person here, but it kind of looks like it on the screen. It kind of looks like a head here and then the body, maybe the knees here. But it's kind of reminding like a Buddha energy of like, I'm going to be in my energy and if you can't stand it then bye bye you know <laughs> which is lovely I love that Ooh, okay divine feminine and we also have the card of trust your path so these are the first oracle cards I'm going to grab the other ones in just a second so we have honeybee divine feminine you are being called on to rise and trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do that is such a strong question and we have literally that energy of I know most of these have this triangle on it but I feel like with this, this is showing me that this is kind of, kind of energy of moving forward and that fiery energy and your passion. So you guys are kind of going inward right now to work on your spirituality. That's what I feel like spirit guides and the universe is kind of giving you that energy and that message here to then realize to, you're kind of like in the higher realms and then you're going to start to bring it down and then manifest a relationship through that. Obviously this is for you guys as well who already have a relationship. This isn't just for my lovely singles, it's for my lovely people who are in a relationship also just take it as it resonates okay you guys are being called on to be your authentic selves especially those of you who resonate as a feminine but also you guys who don't everyone has feminine energy within them and trust your path is showing me that you guys are feeling a little bit confused you're kind of like i don't know if it is, is all of this like worth it am i on the right path and i just burps that's clarification this is all about you i feel like just ask yourself if you knew you'd be supportive what would you do Okay, I love that question. I think that's so wholehearted because it's basically saying, don't worry about what's happening on the human level. What do you want to do? What is your soul's, what is your soul's calling? Where is your soul calling you? And I feel like for some of you guys, it's pregnancy. That's very random, but I'm getting like a pregnancy because uh, group number one got this crystal here. And this is called Mangano Calcite. I sell it on my shop and it's got this really gorgeous like round... Thing. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it kind of reminds me of a baby bump. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to manifest a pregnancy. Okay. And obviously this is going to be a planned pregnancy. It's not going to be a pregnancy that's kind of like, you know, a surprise. Um, we also have number three and we also have here with a honeybee represented as the air and the earth. So you are manifesting through your third eye and your crown and bringing it down into the physical. So whatever you've been wanting to manifest, just keep keep going okay because you are not losing anything you're gaining you're gaining more than what you think you are okay so let's get have a look at the other ones we have oh yes oh i love these i'm getting so excited it's also number three if i didn't say already number three is a very big synchronicity for you you also have 45 and 46 because those could be your messages we have the waning crescent and we also have the waxing gibbous Okay, this is a slow process. I feel like both of these, this one's to do with that card and this one's to do with that card. So I love that. Okay, so facing your fears, look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. And then we also have leaping through the air. A plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. And I feel like some of you guys are being called out because <laughs> I feel like some of you guys are kind of like, I don't want to do this. This is not going to work. And that's where that other card comes in where it says, if you were supported, what would you do? You know, so it's kind of like, don't trust in your ego, trust in what you genuinely want to do. And I literally just got like a breeze going underneath my leg and I don't feel like any of my windows are open. So there's definitely some spirit around here. Could be an ancestor kind of supporting you as well. So for you guys, it's really facing your fears through this process of jumping into what it is you want to jump into. And because this is to do with love, it could be a relationship that you're going to be jumping into that you're kind of scared to. And also just being vulnerable and being yourself. That could be like a really big message for you guys. And here, the waning crescent says, 
surrender, a time for recuperation and rest. And then waxing gibbous is, where is it? Waxing gibbous. Refine and hone, observe and align your hopes with the universe, build momentum. So this is basically saying to build up all your ideas. What is it that you want to achieve? What is it that you want in the next few months? In love, in yourself, in your journey, and then go for it. Just frigging go for it. And whatever it is, whether it's being your most authentic self, whether it's doing a project that you didn't think you would do, and you think it isn't connected to love, but it's very much connected to love because you can most likely meet your person through a project that you were scared to do, through a job you were scared to do, through a um, a kind of mentality that you were scared to bring into your life. Because if you're if you're used to the same mentality over and over again, of course you're going to be scared because you're used to running with that program and you think that that's safety. But sometimes safety is actually in being you know your authentic self and some people can feel very safe within the unsafety and that that can be quite triggering because you think you're in the best place where actually you're kind of working from your ego so that's a really strong message for you guys okay so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what wants to come out for that okay okay so this card wants to pop out so we're gonna have her oh beautiful so massive amount of forward movement for you guys yep you are definitely going to manifest someone through work and for some for those of you who are uh also in a relationship this could be a friendship too or somebody who's very supportive of you like a supportive boss because this may actually be to do with your relationships with your work partnerships as well it could be that you went you're in quite a toxic workplace and you didn't feel like you could really be yourself because you had to push away who you were. And I'm sensing for some of you guys, I'm actually seeing very randomly, some of you guys work at a car sales, but you're actually really spiritual and you're having to kind of push away who you naturally are. And um, those of you who are working in a kind of nine to five job where you don't feel satisfied, but you do actually really love your job in the sense that maybe you do actually love car sales, but you want to be more of yourself. And I think it actually just comes with just being yourself. You don't have to be like talking about all the universe and the 5D and everything. It could just be that you're just yourself as your personality. It doesn't have to be like full on, everything comes in one go. It could just mean that you just act who you are, yourself, you know? So let's see, get, let's get one more card for you guys. Beautiful, brand new cycle. And that is coming with this person here, okay? And underneath the deck, we have the hermit in the reverse. So you guys that are kind of in hermit mode right now, it could be that you're in hermit mode right now, or you're kind of coming out, coming out of that and now moving into more expansion. And I feel like you guys are very scared to take a leap of faith forward. And I feel like it's, it's time now to, to do that, okay? And I feel like it's definitely about restriction. You could be um, unconsciously restricting yourself, but also, it could mean that there is restrictions that are kind of out of your control and that's okay. They'll move naturally. They will definitely move naturally. So in terms of your love life here, with a chariot, the world and temperance, this is you manifesting balance, stability, manifesting somebody who you're not really too sure about, but it could be that for some of you, this is a work colleague who you start to fancy and you're like, oh no, I can't talk to him about love because it, we're, in, we're in a workplace, you know, it's not appropriate. Um, but then you kind of think, nah, I think they're too beautiful to miss. So I'm going to start to manifest a relationship with this person. And the Nine of Wands is also showing me that you guys are struggling to just be yourself, especially in the workplace. And that's okay. You're going to, you are going to manifest abundance here. It's all about just shifting your perspective on who you are. And the Knight of Pentacles is showing me there's somebody coming in, possibly a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. I'm also hearing Scorpio, Aquarius and Pisces. This is somebody who is ready to start something new with you. All it takes is a leap of faith. This is about maybe a leap of faith towards this person, a leap of faith towards a new work life, you know, all of those things, okay? So let's see what else we have. And also we have happiness. This is a sun. This is like the universe saying, look, you did make the right decision to be yourself and that's okay. And I know it's scary, but it's okay. Okay, sorry if that was really loud. Yep, <laughs> we have Leo, we have the seventh house, exactly, the relationships, we have Mars, we have Leo. So you guys have a very strong sexual attraction to somebody, I feel, especially in the workplace or someone to do with work. It doesn't actually have to be at your work, it could be especially for those of you who work, um, who have your own business or who work from home or, 
who don't even work you guys are just um you know possibly a single mum or you just don't work and it could be here showing me that you are going to manifest somebody and you don't have to be in a workplace or in a certain friendship group to manifest this person this will come naturally this relationship will manifest naturally it just takes you pushing yourself towards what you're really passionate about to then get to this love partnership and it can literally just be a perspective shift and you're maybe thinking oh i'm not going to get a work and i really like my work or i really like my friendships that's totally fine this will come completely natural so whether it's a perspective shift in your love life whether it's becoming closer with your partner I feel like the best thing for you to do guys is to be really creative and do as much creativity things as possible and that will help you to manifest your partnerships and man help you manifest balance in all of your relationships in your life whether it be friendship romantic or family and anything like that even work partnerships as well I'm actually hearing some of you guys might be working with your family working in a family partnership um, within work okay so that is your reading guys I really hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the beautiful opalite. I love this crystal. It's so pretty. It's a pebble as well. So it's really nice to hold. So for you guys, I feel like you're worrying about your love life. I feel like you're really worrying about things changing. You really want to manifest something that's light and mature and kind of childlike but in the best way and I feel like you are definitely on the right path okay this is confirmation you are on the right path you are manifesting your person it just takes a little bit of time okay so first card out we have yep <laughs> that literally just summed it up for me so I feel like the butterfly here is showing me that you guys are really in an incubation period so through these three months it could be that you come out of the chrysalis as a butterfly and you oh okay there's like three different messages here so first one transformation these three months could be transformation for you number two it could be you've come out of the transformation you're now ready to be yourself and you're feeling very vulnerable because this is a new part of you and like the caterpillar he's going from or she he or she you know we ain't gen we're gender neutral here on this channel um whether it be a like a caterpillar a caterpillar going from a butterfly is so difficult because this animal is having to literally transform its entire body so this is this is a, a hard journey that you've been on but you're no longer the caterpillar, you are the butterfly. So you are ready to start this new transformation. Also, it could be that you're literally just starting a transformation. So you could be at the start of it, the middle of it, or the end, and you're now you're ready to manifest somebody new. That's what I'm feeling for you guys, so beautiful. Okay, let's see who you're manifesting or this new energy that's coming in for you that you're manifesting through these next three months let's give this a little bit of a shuffle because they're feeling a little bit stuck which i feel like you guys might need to um shuffle up your energy a little bit so don't this one yep I, I didn't even i didn't even hear a yes or no my hand just literally flipped over naturally <laughs> so all right then and then we have the shark which is all about um kind of fearing change i'm hearing fearing change and feeling like you have to have it all together but you don't have to you just have to be yourself okay and also kind of having a little bit of anger come up because you're feeling vulnerable and feeling scared and that's okay that's okay all right so the sea serpent is very much about the throat chakra it's about the heart as well so speaking your truth person that you're manifesting on the energy that you're manifesting somebody who speaks their truth who wants to have the best for you and really wants to acknowledge what you have to say and they're very they're really good at listening to you as well really really good at listening to you and i'm hearing bells ringing and i don't know why it's kind of like christmas bells like bells that you'd have like on a sleigh like santa's sleigh so for you guys you might actually manifest somebody through uh like by christmas time or at a christmas party or you know something like that if we're having christmas parties this year i don't know but maybe over a zoom call a zoom call christmas party i don't know but the sea serpent is very much about somebody who's going to nurture you somebody who's saying look you don't have to be um, scared. It's okay. And it could be you. That's that's you and that could be them. You know, just take it as it resonates. Next card out we have is Jet. So Jet is really good for witchy types, for empaths. It's really good for grounding. It's super good for warding off any uh, EMF waves. So Wi-Fi and 5G, you know, all of that jazz. 
Okay, so where to put it? To clear a physical space of all your body of uninvited vibes. Swipe jet over the affected area and tell toxic energy, spirits, and tensions to peace out. Uh, when to use it? When asking for guidance from elsewhere. Think seance, guided meditation, hardcore tarot session. Jet can take the edge off a high vibe stones like Moldavite and Serpentine and is a wise old friend to bring as your plus one wherever your triggers are sure to be on the guest list. Claim your space. So if you guys are in a group space or going to work or uni or college or school, this is a really good crystal. It's going to help balance you out and help you kind of come into your energy. And like this, I have Hematite. I always have Hematite on me because I'm a Scorpio one that helps me as a Scorpio specifically. So if you are a Scorpio watching this or a sensitive or an empath, uh, hematite's also really good and clear quartz here is one that i'm wearing that i i sell in my shop but also um it's really good for channeling as well so that's a really good kind of balance of being grounded and also the channeling so anyway so this is really good for grounding it helps you feel really um earthy and connected to uh what you're saying and I, i'm hearing also when you're talking to somebody you guys are possibly the people who think of the next thing to say this will help you to be in your energy and kind of listen to what they're saying because i feel like for a lot of us especially who over, who overthink sometimes we can't really hear what the other person is saying and it's not because we're not listening it's because we're literally thinking of other things because we are generally not grounded you know a lot of the time so obviously take it as it resonates yeah guys we have selenite so you guys are really connecting with your spiritual space wow wow you guys are so spiritual i love this selenite and labradorite are like the most high vibe crystals that and apophyllite and moldavite absolutely beautiful I, so i always have selenite when i'm channeling selenite is really really good for channeling so you guys can meet this person through a dream you can meet your person through um some sort of spiritual group it could be through i'm hearing um what are they called like a sweat lodge or i'm seeing people in a teepee and it's it's not like a seance it might be a seance but it feels more earthy than that um can you give me the word please it is a like a satsang or something i don't know what the word is but if you guys know what i mean then that's what i'm picking up on so let's do these two and then i'll bring in the rest of the oracle cards so we have penguin diamond light activations uh light activations and new energies are coming your way be open to receive and welcome them in shadow work there are no shadows that are light so can you see how both of these cards are at night time so you guys are getting a lot of messages through night time. So if you guys might be waking up at night and get like a sudden message about your love life, I feel, and you guys are really enhancing your psychic abilities. So the person that you're going to manifest is, is going to acknowledge your psychic abilities. And he's also going to be most likely very, very psychic as well. I'm getting like proper Pisces and Aquarian energy from this group. And also like Taurian and like possibly Capricorn, but it feels more like, yeah, it does feel like Capricorn. I'm picking up on as well and you guys are going to be going for a little bit of shadow work but that's okay because this is coming with this so because you are opening up more of your third eye and your crown you're then getting more messages from spirit and therefore working on these shadow energies and i feel like the way i've placed these cards is kind of like the earthy realm and the higher realm and you're both con you're connecting both the two so i feel like because you're working with spirit this is going to help you manifest somebody quicker and not in a sense that it's about timing, it's more about your journey and your awakening. Your awakening will be quicker. You know, it might not be the timing is quicker, your awakening is quicker. And um, you're manifesting somebody who is so spiritual. And if it's not, if this isn't a person and you're, you're already in a relationship, this is just about you acknowledging your own um, relationship with yourself and your relationship with spirit and how sacred that is and how you're really nurturing that. Okay beautiful i love this these cards are so just they connect so well together i love this this reading today is so um synchronistic so you guys look out for synchronicities really beautiful to so look out for the number three as well we have take note your answers are being given to you quieting quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered we also have how can you mother yourself the moon taurus and full moon so full moons are all about harvest endeavors receiving the gifts of past intentions begin to look inward not out so you guys are going to gain a really really emotional connection someone who is very grounded someone who wants to be in your presence someone who loves travel as well i'm picking up on 
And this is all about meditating as well. So all of this spiritual energy that I was picking up on is all about you connecting to your spirituality through meditation and through mothering yourself. And also the moon is all about your emotions. We also have the full moon, so that could be a timing on when you meet your person or when you meet this new energy. And the Taurus is all about grounding, but it's all about nurturing. Like Tauruses are very, very nurturing um, energies. Also like Leo and Cancer, very, very nurturing, very much like I will give everything to you, you know, but in like a really mothering way. So this person, because they're like that, you will manifest this person when you are that mothering energy yourself and when you mother yourself. And if there's anything you need to do to get into this energy, do it, you know, do a full moon ritual, have a bath, um, kind of connect with your crystals, have a nice little tarot sesh with yourself and see if there's anything that you need to improve on or anything that you you can look forward to, you know. All this energy is is bringing you towards a closer space, place with yourself. And I love the fact we have 22, because that's all about balance, it's duality, it's connecting with both sides of you, the masculine and the feminine. And for you guys, I highly recommend Boji stones as well. If you don't know what Boji stones are, basically you get a masculine one and a feminine one, and they're two little stones, and you hold them in your hands and they help you really um, balance your masculine and your feminine energies. And I might actually use those at some point, because they're very good. Um, your masculine is your right hand and your feminine is your left hand. So you'd have the masculine stone in your right hand and the feminine stone in your left hand. This will help you to understand how to mother yourself as well. Because sometimes if we are running on adrenaline, if we're running on anxiety, we can't see what's going on because we're running a program, you know. So if you need to get some time out for yourself, do that. And whenever you do have this time out for yourself, don't fill it with distractions. Fill it with how can I nourish myself at this time? And I definitely see a Taurus energy coming in. That just, just a balanced energy. A balanced energy is really coming in for you guys. I love this. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I feel like mothering yourself is also connecting to your masculine and your feminine energies. That's about the mother. That's like the mother and the father. When they're together, it's like balance and helping each other out. You know, masculines need feminine and feminine needs masculine. You know, it's just a natural, a natural drawing of energies it's not even about to do with male and female it's just about to do with the yin and the yang energy and what is it that is going to help bring that in so yeah so traveling is quite important for you guys within the next few months you might be thinking about traveling um but i feel like it's all about you seeing a new perspective of your love life you're finding out something about your love life and i, th I feel like you're seeing yourself in a different light okay and as I say that, I'm literally looking at, at this at this box where it has the work your light. I'm literally, literally just looking at that box as I said light. So I love that. Okay, reverse, upright. Okay. I'm getting a number four really strongly for you guys. So beautiful. So if you're connected to the group number four, I'd say watch that one as well and see if you get any other messages, obviously if you are drawn to it. So massive change in your thinking and you're now have more headspace to figure out, okay, what is it that I want in my work? How do I want to approach my love life with my work as well? It's also working on yourself and if there's any kind of extras that you need to bring in, whether it's like maybe going to counseling, whether it's having some energy healing, whether it's doing some crystal healing on yourself, you are really learning to assert your power, okay? And let's get you one more card. Manifesting an air sign as well. We have air a lot here too. And manifesting somebody who wants to have a family with you. So those of you who want children, um, marriage, or anything that's to do with kind of like building a community. So it doesn't actually have to be babies. It can just literally be like you manifest a partner and they have lots of friends and that's your community. You know, it doesn't have to be baby making and marriage making <laughs> okay so we have the knight of cups in the upright position so you're going to manifest somebody who is really um acknowledging you i'm just hearing the acknowledgement i feel like you guys just need acknowledgement from somebody because so many times you've possibly have relationships where they just haven't acknowledged your worth and it's kind of sad it makes me feel sad so you are going towards that you're you're manifesting a relationship that is so good for you someone who listens to you your partner who you're manifesting for those who are single, partner that you're manifesting will change your work life. They'll make you think about your work in a different way as well. So it might be like they possibly take up more of your time because maybe when you're single, you've had more time to work on your work and now you've got somebody coming in that's like, boom, change up your work life. 
Could be that you meet somebody in your work life, could also be that you work with your partner, okay? Um, for those of you in relationships, definitely I see that working with your partner energy. And also, for some of you guys, it's also learning boundaries. And if you guys are in a new relationship or you're in a relationship where you're kind of putting too much energy into it and you're not putting enough into yourself, you'll realize that that tower moment's gonna shift how much energy you are putting into yourself or how much you need to. And the Ace of Swords is that power in your voice. So really speaking your truth in your relationships and telling the person, this is what I need. This will make me feel comfortable. And the Fall is a massive, massive new start. So it all comes from seeing something in a new perspective brand new start, massive change, new person coming in, whether they be a water, air or earth sign, um, changing your work life, feeling more abundant, feeling more whole. And then, because you are getting you are getting evidence from the universe that things are physically manifesting. Ace of Swords, you're, the way you speak is changing. You're feeling much more able to speak your truth. You feel clearer, you feel more open. And now you're manifesting somebody that's, that's here for you and someone who is gonna make you feel much more clear about life, okay? So this could be a crush. I'm hearing it could be somebody you already know, somebody from childhood as well. Just take it as it resonates, okay. Let's see what we wanna see about your love life. Oops, and that fell on the floor. We have Taurus, oops, and it changed to Aries. Okay, so, all right, so we have fire here as well. We literally have all the elements. So, um, loving your work is what's gonna bring in love life as well. Let's roll that again. Yep, and getting stability around home. So you could be moving house when you meet your person, could be moving house as you meet your person, could be you meet somebody, then you move. It's like all the elements to your life are kind of shifting around your love life. So it's kind of like something will happen and then that's when things will change for you. So it's kind of like moving house, then your love life, getting a new job, then your love life, having more love for your work and then your love life. So that's what I'm feeling. It feels very accomplished. And I feel like for you guys, don't rush this, okay? Aries is, quite an impatient sign and if it's in a certain element of your chart say it is in your fourth house or your seventh house or anything like that fourth house is to do with the home seventh house is to do with relationships so if it's in any of those signs you feel the need to possibly rush things so really be very conscious of how you are approaching this person or approaching this new energy let it flow in naturally and know that if you are stuck I see massive shifts for you guys and I see massive shifts in your emotions as well like you're getting much more safe within yourself because the moon and the fourth house is literally the same thing. It's about nurturing, it's about the home, it's about the mother, it's about your roots and your foundation. So if you're not feeling like secure, everything's gonna feel a bit uncomfortable, okay? And I'm, I'm doing this and it kind of reminds me of pregnancy and the womb. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could be manifesting a pregnancy as well if that's something that you're wanting. Obviously, I'm seeing a planned pregnancy, okay? So thank you so much for watching guys. They're also telling me I recommend selenite. That's just what they're saying. Highly recommend selenite. If we had that already, then that's just clarification. Okay, so thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to get a private reading um, or have a look at my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Uh, you can email me or you can message me on Instagram and I hope you have a lovely day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose Apophyllite. This is one of my absolute favorite crystals. I have quite a few favorites. This is one of them. Um, this is a very high vibrational crystal, very, very spiritual. This will help you to manifest abundance in terms of spirituality. So it could be your psychic abilities. It could be um, manifesting just a con higher connection with spirit and just having a stronger relationship with spirit as well. And this is just a very clear crystal. So it will help you to feel clearer. Um, it will help you to just kind of bring down the spirituality more into the earth plane. So you can really kind of help yourself through your spirituality. So attracting more signs and synchronicities and attracting, um, I feel like more sleep as well. For those of you who channel during your sleep or who, who lack sleep because of how much you're channeling or how much you're really ascending, this will help you to just earth that into the ground, okay? Also just any black crystal will help you earth it. If you need it a bit more earthy, highly recommend a, a darker crystal like hematite, and um, this is what I'm wearing today, a hematite, or jet, or black obsidian. That's what I highly recommend. But also, if you guys need protecting, black onyx, really, really good. All right, so first card out we have is the owl. So that is really, really beautiful. We'll have a look at those in just a second. Okay, so the owl here. This is all about you seeing things clearly. This is about you um, acknowledging your past and really connecting with your old self and bringing it into the new. So you have learned a lot. You are very wise 
and you're learning to feel more calm around your love life you're not rushing anything and you're trusting spirit more and you're trusting in in the darker times as well you're trusting in when you felt like you can't really keep going you're you you kind of gone past that now and i feel like you are feeling much more calmer and i feel like for you guys you are night owls literally like you could literally feel like a night owl because you possibly stay up quite late you probably have quite a good connection to the moon but also I feel like you've learned so much and I think this is definitely a good time for you to manifest somebody because it, it feels like you're ready. Okay, so let's get a person, a person coming in. This could also be a new energy as well. This card, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm also picking up on a black cat as well. So for some, oh, black cat. <laughs> um, I don't want these cards though. Okay, so I'm, I am picking up on a black cat. So that could be um, your energy. Is this the right one? I'm still not getting the right energy. Okay. Who is this person coming towards you? I'm picking up on an earth sign. Someone who's quite grounded. So I want this if it's an earth animal or an air animal. Okay, these guys are struggling to come out. Let's give us a bit of a shuffle. Let's see what's going on here. This one? That's the one. There we go. Okay, we have earthy, fiery energy. So... Somebody who's a leader, we also have the starfish. Somebody, okay, you're possibly releasing an, an air, a water sign as well. You're coming away from this emotional um, attachment, codependency, to feeling like a leader. You're almost like the leader leading the leader. So it's like a very strong, I'm hearing the song, follow the leader, leader, leader. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like you're not attaching yourself to anything anymore. You're feeling much more able to manifest somebody who's a leader as well as you are. Both of you are leading each other through the darkness. And I love how we've got the air and we have earth. So that really good connection of spirituality, but also grounding. And this is somebody who's very driven. They see you as somebody who's also very driven and very work orientated. And this also, guys, this is a, re a reading for anyone who is um, in a relationship or not even looking just for an actually romantic love. It could just be a balance within your um, connections with your family or work. Okay, so... This could just be an energy. This doesn't actually have to be a particular person. And also feel free to swap both of the people around as well. So this could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm feeling Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Sag, Leo. Okay. And this is somebody who's, who, they have very intense eyes. Can you see how both the eyes are quite intense? Both of you have a very strong sexual connection. Very raw. Very, very raw. It's kind of like I'm going to undress you with my eyes. <laughs> that's what i'm hearing okay right next card out oh is it oh tech tie so you guys definitely do need a black crystal i love the fact that we have the black and the white it's that balance of the masculine and the feminine that is really good if you guys would like a bracelet or a necklace with that on i highly recommend i've done those before they're really really good for kind of balancing you out and kind of helping you to stay stable within all the high energy that you have okie dokie tech tie so it's the planet of sorry this is the crystal of the earth it says, who needs it? I hail from a stars, I hail from a star in Orion's belt. People, those currently overburdened by resentment. Where to put it? On your UFO landing pad or beside your meditation cushion. When to use it? When gravity feels extra heavy and it's time to initiate launch sequence and blast off. When you're bored of the earth life and want to expand your intergalactic horizons, raise your vibration. So I feel like you guys are kind of bored of not manifesting anything or manifesting things that just aren't on your vibration you're like okay well i'm working on myself where's my man or where's my woman you know where's my person it's coming okay it's definitely coming you just gotta keep working with it and working with family as well you guys might be having a few arguments with your family um in the next few months just recognize that these emotions that come up in these arguments are there to clear you so you can manifest more stable relationships with people yep commitment so oh, i love this crystal is so great and i'm really trying not to get too excited because i have the microphone pretty close to my mouth right now so <laughs> i'm trying not to get like ee! <laughs> i love this card this is one of my faves because it's all about your pure passion for life it's about your commitments it's about that deep intimacy and also this is somebody you're manifesting who's going to be part of your family which is so beautiful i love that and it could just be that you're feeling much more stable in family life as well Oh, there's that black cat. Okay. <laughs> Speak your truth. Have faith. Strengthen. Strength. Wow. My, my words today are very confused. 
Um, have strength, faith and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. So this is showing me that you may have to speak your truth very strongly with your family to get to this commitment because every relationship we have is a reflection of ourselves. And also it's to do, every relationship is the same. We're all connected, we're all interconnected, okay? So it, our, our love relationships and our family relationships very much the same because it's all about how we assert ourselves with another person. How are we being patient with them? Are we listening to them? Are we um, understanding their needs and are they understanding our needs? It's all about that kind of like do do, do balance with each other. This is also saying that you may have to just slow down with your speech and it doesn't mean you actually have to talk slower. It could mean that you have to kind of pull back on what you have to say because there might be a bit of anger coming up, resentment, just naturally coming up because of possibly having to push yourself down for so long. So just be aware of that. And also this is to do with the heart and the sacral chakra, intense sexual energy and intense heartfelt energy. So you guys are really being authentic to yourself. And sometimes if you haven't been authentic for a long time, people can start to get a bit confused because they're like, wait, I thought you were like that, but now you're like that. And especially narcissists, they can take it the wrong way. And that, okay, to be fair, narcissists can take a lot of things the wrong way. <laughs> But, bless them, but uh, no shade, no shade, they're on their own path. Um, but this is somebody who you want to be the, your most authentic self with and it causes you to be vulnerable and that's okay, all right? So it's really getting you to be in your own energy. Very Scorpionic, very, very Scorpionic. Those of you born on Halloween, hi, me too. Black cats, very strong energy around that because it's very high of spiritual vibration. Okay, next ones out we have. Oh, guys, you got a lot of oracle cards today. Ooh, yes, queen. I love these cards. They are so good. Love them. Okay, shared inspiration, 20. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fills your heart. Yes, queen. Spoken like a true queen. And then we have shedding the old. There is a, chi there is a change coming your way. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you'll be able to see these new projects or prospects, okay. Get grounded, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature, priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Partners, yes, seventh house, relationships, and Virgo. Some of you guys could be um, bringing in a Virgo. Could also mean that you bring in this person through harvest, so where you've been manifesting for so long, this person finally comes in with all the shedding of the old. And Virgos are very sensitive, empathic, normally. They are very genuine a lot of the time. They are people who do struggle with the earth, earth plane because they are very highly empathic. And this is a very, very sensitive relationship. And when I say sensitive, I mean in the best way possible. It's basically like you both are very aware of your environment. And this is somebody who likes to work on things. They like to build things. Um, could be you as well. They with with this, it's like showing me that they're building a relationship with you. And this, the Virgo is the Virgin, so they may this may be your first relationship you've ever had, your first uh, intimate connection as well. It doesn't have to be, but it could mean that your intimate connections are beginning to um, change. So the way you interacted with the opposite sex or whoever you're sorry, don't mean just the opposite sex, who whoever, whoever you're attracted to, it kind of is changing. So you're starting to become more confident. You're starting to um, be more authentically vulnerable in your relationships and not lead everything through either physical or a distraction, you know, just being very present in the moment. Okay, so it's also saying here, how are you being called to step up and lead? So I love how we have this really strong energy of her holding out her hands and then we have this grounded energy. So being very um, open and um, what's the word? Can you give me the word please? Not vulnerable. Okay, guys, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. Kind of like where you're open, but you're not being vulnerable it's kind of like you are aware I don't know what the word is okay if it, if it comes to me I'll let you know um but it's kind of like you are connecting to spirit and letting it openly come to you letting things openly come to you and being a vessel of an open vessel basically okay so you are definitely shedding the old and for you guys it's really time to just not have any constraints on your projects or your relationships and just let things happen naturally and excuse me that was a clarification when I burp and if you guys have been putting yourself on the back burner it's time to put yourself on the front burner I'm guessing that's something good because <laughs> to me it's something good and it's all about you um just jumping into a project and having no kind of 
um, wow, my words are really struggling to come out today, um, having no limitations on what it is that you want to manifest. And yeah, I'm hearing just this, it's just like being an open vessel, I feel. And just uh, yeah, having no constraints on your projects and just being your authentic self. And some of you guys, Virgos are just very nurturing. So it could be something you're very nurturing, you're learning to become more nurturing in your partnerships. And you guys were the only group that had this kind of partnership. So that is just extra clarification. You guys are very, very close to meeting your person and it feels very authentic. And I love how it says, be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fills your heart. So Virgos are very time, they like timing. They're very kind of, oops, <laughs> that's my cellar night against my table. That's not good. Um, that's about you guys not judging yourself, not being perfectionists, not um, having time constraints and judgment. And because Virgos can be very judgy of themselves because they care so much and because they know what the best thing is. And sometimes that can get in the way of what it is that you actually want to manifest. Okay. So for you guys, it's all about sharing the inspiration with just yourself and really being in that moment. And that's going to attract somebody who really wants to be with you. Someone who is very grounded and also I love for this being called a step up and lead. I feel like it's something you want to do, but you're struggling to kind of get the motivation or you're thinking it's not going to work out. What's the point? It's not going to give me money or it's not going to get me the attention. Don't worry about that. Just freaking do it. And if it fulfills you, that is the most important thing. We want to have happiness on this earth. That is the most important thing. And obviously money is so important too. But what is life without happiness? You know, happiness is number one. So you guys, even if this project is just on the side, I feel like it's just giving yourself the permission to be creative and be expansive without rules. You know, Virgos are the perfectionists. They love organization. They love things in like neat packages. They love things with strategies. And sometimes life isn't strate strategic, especially in spirituality. Spirituality is literally like this. <laughs> it's a freaking mess sometimes, but that's okay. That is okay. Right, first card out we have, perfect stepping up and leading and also this could be a project where you need you are where you're talking a lot it could be a book word it could be I'm hearing a text message coming in from someone too like a message online yeah you guys are really have really struggled to speak your truth because you don't feel like you're as important as others or it could be mean that you are you've really struggled to be your authentic self because you're scared of rejection. You're scared of not being accepted because you feel very different from a lot of people, okay? And that's okay. Difference is beautiful, okay? It's, it's the best way of living is being different. Why would want to be like anyone else? People aren't attracted to people who are the same as everyone else. People are attracted to people who are different. They That's what, that's what they like, you know, because originality is, is beautiful. Originality is sexy. <laughs> sexy as F, okay? So this is lovely. So as you can see, with this journey, it's like you're recognizing, okay, what isn't working for me? Who is not acknowledging my emotions? Breaking free of old patterns, old wounds, old um, old restrictions on yourself and finding a stronger balance within yourself and finding that new pathway that really makes you feel free. Freedom and safety is what I'm hearing. <gasps> oh, you're the first group to have this. Yay, I love this. So freaking cute. So freaking cute. I'm so happy for you. Okay, so I'm hearing, for some of you guys, if it's not within this time frame that I have on this, on this video, it'll be about four to five months I'm seeing you get some sort of recognition uh, from a person, but also a relationship. Okay, so however that resonates for you. All right, so I'll see what this Three of Swords is about. It's, it's basically about you've been hurt in the past and you may, need to keep, you may need to feel the need, okay, words. You feel the need to hold yourself back or hold your heart to your, to hold your heart to your chest and not open it up. This is just insecurities, okay? And some of you guys, you're very sensitive who have chosen this group and it just takes that element of safety and that jumping, which is a fall, jumping into a relationship, guys, jumping into it and just going for it. And this doesn't have to be romantic. This can be in friendship, it can be in work and not holding all this to yourself. You don't have to do this all by yourself anymore. Let these wands go. We don't need her anymore. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, exactly. This is all happening for a reason. This is all in divine timing, okay? This is all happening so you can manifest the best possible relationship that really, really suits your energy, okay? And it's all meant to happen, okay? You're being supported and you're being taken care of. Okay, sorry if I just hit the microphone. Capricorn.
Capricorn. Wow, guys. Oh my God, so much work energy, so much career energy. Okay, we have Capricorn, we have the 10th house and we also have Jupiter. Wow, my heart chakra is fully feeling this right now, feeling it in my back. I actually have my heart chakra, I feel it a lot in my back recently, very interesting. Um, so with this Jupiter energy, massive, massive, gigantic expansion in your work. Okay, that's gonna affect your relationships in some way. So the way you, oh, that's interesting. I'm hearing the way you approach your career is how you will approach your relationships. Love that, that is so, yes, that is sexy. So if you attract, if you approach your work rushing, um, feel the need to control, feel the need to um, adjust everything, micromanage, that will not assist you, okay? Jupiter is all about expansion, and that is not expansion, that is control, that's restriction, that's that. I mean, it is Capricornian energy, but for here, like it's, obviously we do have Capricorn, but it is in a negative way. So I feel like for you, it's channeling the positives of Capricorn, the organization, the structure, the um, the confidence, you know, and, and feeling like you have it all together, <laughs> even if you don't. This is that having it all together and, with the Capricorn in the fourth house, both of these are literally, this is all Capricorn energy in this triangle here. So whatever you have in your 10th house, this is gonna be really affected in the next few months of this reading. So be aware that this your, your career is gonna expand and whatever planet you have, that's gonna to expand too. So whether you have your moon or your, or your um, in, or Venus or something like that, it's gonna expand, it's gonna help you expand. So if you're feeling restricted in your work or your love life, just remember things are going to change for you and you're going to feel much more comfortable it's just a matter of timing okay i feel like once you've watched this reading probably like a couple of weeks after or at least like maybe even a few days i just feel like around the timing of this video the start the start of this the start of this energy so around the um 22nd of september i see massive amounts of change for you guys and 22 is all about balance and relationships. That's what we want. You know, we want a good relationship with our work because it means that we can feel much more comfortable and feel like we're really giving to this world. And I'm hearing for those, that, okay, this is a very strong message. For some of you guys who are struggling with work, um, I know that this earth is a physical plane. I'm getting a very strong channel message right now. Um, they're saying, stop interrupting me. Okay, <laughs> somebody's channeling through me right now. So I'm hearing for you guys, if you're struggling with work or career or your life purpose, it isn't everything. And it does feel like everything, I know it is. And it sounds silly me saying this because our world is literally ruled by money, but it isn't. Because at the end of the day, if you just let go and release and work on the emotions that it's triggering instead of the actual energy that it's presenting you, the best you can work through it. Okay, I really highly recommend um, reading. I feel like reading's gonna be very good for you. Meditation, turning off your phone, having a social media detox. Detoxing your friendships, I'm hearing as well, will help you bring in this energy. Cause it's just being your more authentic self. And I feel like some people around you are re-debating really your, your like, your potential, which sounds really gross. I feel like I'm hearing like a father figure, especially is really kind of making you feel bad about yourself. And don't, don't let them do that, okay? Be in your own energy and balance is key here. Jupiter is about expansion and Capricorn is about that control. So really, kind of, and rules as well. So I feel like for you guys, things are gonna to start to feel more orderly very soon, okay? And I feel like your work life is really gonna expand along with your love life, both of them together, absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all the information is down below along with my crystals jewelry shop as well. So if any of the crystals you really like here today and you want to purchase one, please feel free to uh, let me know. You can always message me on Etsy if I haven't got one available actually on my store. Um, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.